Hey everybody, Damien here with another pack opening video, but today I have Guardians Rising. Because I like Guardians Rising, it's a cool set, and it's like the only set that I've ever bought a booster box for at this point. So, uh, before I get into this, I'm going to go ahead and say leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe if you're new, because I do pack openings pretty regularly. So, um... You know, I, I love opening Pokemon cards. I wish it was a little bit more affordable, but if it was more affordable at that point, I don't think... Um, I, I have the feeling that if it was more affordable, I probably wouldn't... Uh, the card probably wouldn't hold the same value. And part of the great thing about Pokemon cards is the value. Is they hold... Uh, some cards, you know, you can spend $4 and get a card in a pack that's worth 100 So that's something I like about Pokemon. And if it was any less... In value, then I'm pretty sure it would probably go nowhere, you know? Oh, I see something back there. It's awesome. But, you know, I, I honestly think that if it was like a dollar a pack, like if every, if Dollar Tree packs are neat because you have a capability of spending a dollar and getting a good card out of it. But honestly, I don't think that if all packs were a dollar, you only get three cards. I don't think anybody will really buy them and there wouldn't have much value in these cards just for the fact that it would be so cheap you know like like some baseball cards like baseball cards for a pack is roughly like what 2.99 something like that and there's a lot of cards in baseball cards that hold very little value unless the player is the best but overall pokemon cards would lose value after a year or two because new cards will get printed and all the previously expensive cards would have next to no weight. Tapu Lili will probably have next to no value in five, six years, just for the fact that there will be way more playable cards in the future. Or maybe it'll hold up, but... <gasps> Ooh! Hyper Rare Trampa. That's nice. I'm gonna stop touching that. <laughs> because that's actually pretty cool. And, uh... Actually, I'm, I'm enjoying this box pretty, pretty well. Um... Because I bought a booster box, it was $100 off of Amazon. I was careful to who I bought it from. I, I pretty much checked to see if they had good reviews and all that. I bought it, and honestly, it's turning out pretty good. $100 for a booster box isn't too bad for a set with cards that are worth around $100 on them. Because I think a uh, Tapu Lili Hyper Rare, if you get it, uh, if you get the Tapu Lili Hyper Rare, uh, uh, minted and it comes like gen mint 10 or something. I think it's like a hundred or some dollar or something like that So you could spend a hundred dollars and get roughly a hundred dollar card out of it Not to mention all the bulk which is roughly about 30 cents a card reverses are usually about 40 cents a card and Hollows are usually about a dollar or so depending on the playability and Some reverses are worth a, a couple bucks if they're like really playable like aqua patch reverse is usually good and um Reverse energies are usually valuable, but, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and shut up. This is lagging on a lot of just about, like, the whole thing, so I want to go ahead and give you this code card. I hope you enjoy it, and, uh, let me know at the very least if you got it, but if you got something awesome out of it, let me know, and, uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.